Hello, my little gray curious friends. Thank you for coming back and joining me. Today, we're gonna talk about all the ways that you can go gray, which is not maybe all the ways, but at least five main reasons or ways you can go gray. The first one being the cold turkey. The second one being the, the buzz or the pixie cut. The third being just going a completely different color. The fourth being highlights and lowlights, and the fifth being you go into the salon. So I'm just gonna give you my take on those five things because everybody, you know, everybody's got an opinion. You know that saying about opinions? And I feel like a little bit, being a mom, there's this thing of when you share some stuff, everybody has an opinion of how you should do it and how you shouldn't do it. And if you got this hair and you got that hair, you should, you know, so, I liken it back, you know, I always liken stuff back to childbirth or childbearing, but it there is an element of this where based on how you are on the inside is going to kind of determine on how what you're going to feel comfortable on the outside. And so what works for you is probably not going to work for somebody else and you might have a whole nother creative option that somebody else doesn't even look at, okay? So I... I'm just so excited that people are looking at this as an option in reality. And um, I, you know, just want to share my thoughts on it. And um, we're going to start, I guess we'll start with number one, which is the, the cold turkey. So the cold turkey is basically what it says. You just quit. You just quit doing this. You just let it grow. You're going to get that demarcation line that's going to kind of come down. And then based on, you know, whatever your preferences on hair length, then you go from there. Uh, the second one would be pixie. So that's, you know, you just do a buzz cut, you shave it all out, and then you just kind of let it grow out. It's kind of like a cold turkey, but I mean, I don't know. You're not, you're kind of not doing anything after you do the shave, but I am not... I can't rock a pixie cut, or at least I don't feel like I can rock a pixie cut. Like if you can rock a pixie cut or you've ever done a pixie cut, then hells to the bells, go for that. Cause I think that that is super, super cool. And if it looks good on you, then that's great. I personally, I have my neck is too long for that. And I look like a freaking bobblehead. And if I had any kind of fun spikes or something like that, I would, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable or confident with that style, but it is a, awesome maintenance free i mean you could almost do it if you know you got a boyfriend or husband you could just use their shavers and just shave it off and be done pretty cheap pretty easy pretty you know to the point third one going blonde um you know i did think a little bit about this where you you go blonde and then you just kind of do a cold turkey from there i honestly i you, you're going to have to have good hair quality to do this because if you have, either I, sh I take that back, either good hair quality or you're going to need to have um, lighter hair because if you have dark hair, I don't have to tell you it's going to turn orange if you try to do it yourself. It doesn't matter how blonde you want it, it's going to be orange unless you're going to a hair salon and, and getting it done. But doing that and taking all of that pigment out of your hair, oh baby, you better make sure that you have some really nice, thick, beautiful hair that can handle that. I did not have that as an option. Um, I was actually even worried about this little piece right here where you can see, and I'd use that Olaplex on it so that it would be stronger so that when I would go to the... Um, get my hair cut which I was supposed to do this month but I'm kind of liking it long see there's people I mean we like our hair long we like I don't mind doing different styles but I do like my hair a little bit longer but if you are gonna do the blonde you definitely definitely have to have some really nice hair or you need to do some treatments or something to prep for that because that is gonna be quite a experience shock for your hair um, the other thing that I didn't, I guess I, you know, a, a thought that did occur to me and that I've had other women or I've heard other women say is that when they do the blonde, then they kind of get excited about being a blonde because they've never been a blonde before. So, you know, they're, they're rocking the blondes have more fun 
attitude and then they're like mm, maybe I don't want to do this this gray because again as dark hair I mean you see blonde and it's you know you almost could mix it in because you don't think that it's as dramatic as when you have dark hair and a root is coming in and you feel like you can see it from miles away so I do think that they, you, you do have the potential of if this is what you really want to do that if you do go blonde that you might kind of um, delay your process of actually going through with the whole thing um, and along with that is the salon um, which you can do it's kind of adding to that so you would go blonde and then I mean and depending on again your hair the quality health of your hair and um, how uh, long it is will determine how many times you're gonna have to go to the salon to do a full pull out of all the color and then they do a full gray now when I started looking at this it was a year actually a year ago this week is when I quit doing my hair but I was doing a little bit of research before that time and I didn't really see that much well I mean to do that to go to the the hair salon and do that I mean we're talking you know three to four times you're gonna need to go there spending probably two hours at the minimum and it's gonna cost you a chunk a chunk a chunk a chunk of money and it's going to be a lot a lot a lot of shock on your hair but if you have all of the components that needed that are needed for that let me tell you I have actually seen some really cool result uh, results on um, scrolling on Instagram or uh, other people that have done this on YouTube so you know, they will make it seem like oh that you can just go do it in a day but you can't do it in a day especially I mean maybe if you have blonde hair but if you have dark hair you are not gonna go into a, any salon unless it's uh, the place that the Kardashians go to and get your hair in the perfect shade of gray and if you are gonna do something like that you probably do want to do a cold turkey or something so that you do have like a decent root show so that when you go to your hairdresser the hairdresser can somewhat try to match that but when you do that it's still a full color so it's a full color that's just going to be somewhat tape tapered to your natural color but you're still going to have to start that whole process out of uh of letting it grow all the way out so if there are some I guess differences in the colors with the different grays or how it you know it's all, all there's gonna be a lot of variables it's gonna be how long you're gonna have your hair or you're gonna you know keep it short or, or what you got going on there but that's that's a chunk of money and a chunk of time and then the fifth which I think I did them backwards or a little off but which is what I did which is the highlights and lowlights now you can do a um, where it's just the lowlights but I wanted to do something a little more fun and to kind of do the Nightmare on Elm Street, especially when I started to see the white that was coming in right here. I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe if I do some highlights around my face, I can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then I did do the low lights, which I was trying to see. I mean, I don't, I guess you can kind of see probably about like right there. but they've grown out. They've kind of broken up that demarcation line. But the demarcation line is kind of at a cool spot right now. It's kind of like right there. So if I kind of do some waves or I got some stuff going on in my hair, you don't even really kind of see it. Or maybe it's just because I'm just so used to it. But I mean, hey girls, with this whole like root, uh, the pandemic root, uh, what do they call it? Shadow roots. Is kind of a thing I mean we got labels now ladies we got labels shadow roots I mean because people didn't go so now it's a whole thing shadow roots the balayage stuff I mean you got Billie Eilish rocking these roots things and you know there's all kinds of um, different patterns that are out there that are acceptable that you can just slide right into the style and do it old lady style and be rocking it and you know I, I mean Hey, anybody asks, you're doing the shadow roots, right? <laughs> that's a that's a thing. So, I do think the highlights and lowlights are, for me personally, it gives me a sense of feeling like I got a style, I've got something I'm working with. 
You can add more to it. You can add less to it. It's not as expensive. You're not going to be at the salon for four hours or four hours is exaggerating. Although I did have that happen. You know, when you get the rookie, you are going to be there for four hours, but you're talking to, you know, a two hour, you're getting a haircut and you're in and out of there and you're still getting that polished look as you're trying to let this, you know, let this grow out. So I say, you know, my advice to any woman that is wanting to do this is to look at, I mean, it's the same advice that I would give to any mom, you know, and you always give um, unsolicited advice to moms. It's like, oh, this, use the swing, use that. And my advice was always like, do what makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy and makes you feel good in your body, that's what you do, okay? Don't listen to anybody else. If cold turkey works for you and you got a thing about just wanting to have the discipline of not touching it and having some kind of gratification at the, at the end of that, you do that. That's your control, that's your deal, you do that. If you wanna rock a pixie cut, cut that off and you you go for it you know just you, you're gonna have a lot of people telling you shoulds and coulds and you know and you really need to do what is right for you I think the main thing you need to work or worry about or I shouldn't say you shouldn't really need to worry about anything when you do this but you are gonna have people that be like oh my god you're too young to do that they don't have gray hair you know it's like the people in the toxic relationships telling you you need to get in a relationship so that you can be miserable like them okay you don't they don't know what you're going through they don't know if you're going through hair loss they don't know anything so you do what works for you and 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 you maybe not want to share it you know because you're gonna have you know, certain people that are gonna make you feel like maybe you shouldn't be doing this. And let me tell you, I've I've watched that. I've watched videos where where women and I've I've done that too. Where I've done it, I've said I'm I'm not gonna do it, and then one comment, and then before you know it, I'm I'm coloring again, which is I think one of the main reasons why it's actually kind of great with this pandemic. It it lines up really nicely that you can do it because you aren't around as much people to get their unsolicited advice. So just remember that the garden of reality that you grow heavily depends on you, okay? You. So water what works for you first, okay? That's what matters. That is our Wu Wei to Gray, okay? We're finding our Wu Wei. And Wu Wei, Wu Wei is our action of non-action. So we are trying to find our way to the Wu Wei, okay? So what works for you is what works for me, which was what, what works for us all, okay? Because at the end of the day, it really is bigger than hair, isn't it? It's an identity. It is a an acceptance of aging and trying to ride that balance between aging and beauty and figuring out which direction you're going to go with this new identity that you're going to have because the blow up and the glow up is on the inside and the outside when you do this ladies and let me know in the comments did I forget one do you have another way that you went gray or another way that you're practicing or something that you can share please put it down there so that we can all see and learn and you know, while you're working your way down there, if you want to hit the like, hit the subscribe, come join the hair revolution, I would be very happy about that. And as always, from my reality to your reality, thank you for being, and thank you for being with me.